Hey everybody, welcome back. God, I wish that war went better. I'm still bitter about it. Oh, you want to write Family Chronicle? Um, yeah. Pay and patronage. It's not too expensive. I'm going to become proud. Wow, that was a really rare chance. And I got it. And we have prosperity. Yay! Man, my money's pretty good considering the levy upkeep and all that. So many people are giving me tax, too. All right, I shouldn't neglect up here too much, should I? Upgrade your castle town. In Dublin, we've already given this way to our eldest son. He's upgrading it. Good, I'm happy that he's investing in upgrading that place. Because I'd like to see it succeed. Alright, we fully siege down two of these places. Won that battle, nice. Barracks done, awesome. And let's get that hospital upgrade going, the sick house. Okay, things are going really well so far. Like, we're developing very quickly, so that's nice. We got more military, awesome. It's at a point where I'm actually kind of considering going into cavalry or a heavy inventory, maybe a little of both. I think it only affects troops from those provinces. However, my capital uh, would be the, where almost all my troops are coming from and they'd get the bonus. So it might actually be quite substantial. Sorry, I'm pausing and unpausing very rapidly. Lost our spy master. Uh, I'm pausing and pausing quite on quite rapidly just to keep track of everything. 18. Um, 21. 19. Well, you're slightly better. So we'll get you. Better chance of that good tech. After 100 years, uh, the duchy of whatever is never no longer considered a de jure part of the kingdom of Galicia. Okay. I'm not entirely sure what the kingdom of Galicia is. That's not my kingdom. Uh, right, he hasn't joined yet. There we go. Now he is. And study abroad. Awesome. Uh, am I happy with what everyone's doing? Yeah, I'm happy with what everyone's doing. My chancellor is still not great, and I'd really like a better one. I could bribe you to join, or I could get this guy for free. I'm taking this guy. We really need a good chancellor. Otherwise, you have a very low chance of actually getting fabricated claims. So we're actually going to replace this guy. He's a malcontent. Doesn't matter. He doesn't get a vote. Oh, no, he's a glory hound now. Okay. And you've got a decently higher chance. Sorry. Thought one of those uh, counties was taken by another country. But no. Same as it was before. Now, I could build forts over here if I wanted, but it seems like a waste of my money. Just for helping out this allied war effort. Okay, that's easily our, in our favor. Yep. I'm just kind of watching down... Oh, uh, my wife. Yeah. Yeah, take care of her. I'm just kind of watching down here to make sure, like, a giant blob army doesn't march in when I'm not paying attention. Hospital's almost done. Nice. Uh, careful planning. Raised armies in exile and hopefully declaring his intentions to press his claim by force. Uh, huh, is that on us? Because it doesn't say. <laughs> uh, Marshal discovered a good man, so we got another uh, commander. Awesome. We actually don't have enough troops over here anymore to see just is it because we've lost so many troops to a garrisons and b attrition i think that's what it is we actually need to come home to get more you know what uh we're just gonna put down our army because we've contributed plenty to this war we've done like 28 percent sick house done nice so our hospital level is better and uh, one of our quartiers became germanic that's annoying but whatever i don't care okay Money is much better now. Raiders have arrived. Go kill him. Oh, do we no longer have our cavalry leader? He must have died. Man, that's a shame. He was good. We have that doesn't inform us when our commanders die, unless I'm uh, absolutely blind, which is completely possible. Uh, I kind of want you. You're good, and you're another siege leader. Um, not seeing anyone with the cavalry icon here. 
Yeah, we'll take you just because you're talented in general. Oh, and you're a talented organizer. We'll take you as well. Uh, and you can just have... I mean, you're, you, this guy's really good, just in general. Edwarf the Third. Yeah, that's our son. God, I hope he doesn't die in this fight. You know what? Let's not take that risk. He's an amazing military commander, and I don't want to take that risk. Uh, we'll just give him the next best. Uh, mercy, what is it? Okay, yeah, you joined. Sweet. And you ran. That's fine. As long as they're not in our land. Speaking of, would this guy fuck off, please? Oh, it's that host. He's not even at war with us, so I guess I shouldn't worry. But there aren't enough supplies there for him, so he's just starving. Sweet castle town done up here. Making sure this place is making me decent money. You may have noticed, uh, the I think the money's pretty important. Hospital level two. Awesome. So we have better disease resistance. Okay, so we can get a leper colony for way more disease resistance, which helps offset that we are very prosperous. And a soup kitchen increases the tem Temple of Asshole Opinions slightly, gives us a slight amount of prestige, or sorry, piety. I don't care about either of those. And some disease resistance, which I won't complain about more disease resistance. The leper colony is definitely looking more useful because we are very prone to disease outbreaks because of the prosperity here. At the same time, we have castles we could be upgrading. Uh, yeah, and those are probably more important. Get that keep upgraded. That's something I really need to keep on top of. Keep on top of, woo, unintentional pun. All right, you're building that. Um, yeah, save our money then, because I don't want to blow all of it on that right away. More technology. Got military again. Wow, we're really racking up the military technology. This is awesome. What's our max military right now? Quite high. I really want to take more counties. This is killing me. See, thing is, I want to make the Kingdom of Ireland. But if I just start, like, declaring and establishing tributary states, I could annihilate them. It'd be easy. But... It wouldn't work out well. If I start making them tributaries, then um, I would be obligated to protect them. I wouldn't have, I wouldn't be able to conquer their land in the future. And I don't think there's a way to make them, uh, to make them incorporate like as a vassal after that. What is this? If we can need protection, they'd be better off in your realm by spending a significant amount of prestige, yeah. I'd lose a thousand prestige, but I could force vassal their whole little country. Even if we win- oh no, never mind. Oh, never mind. I'm stupid. We, uh, yeah, when we declare we lose a thousand, and when we win we still lose another thousand. Fuck, so no matter what we lose, 1,100 prestige, which is way too rich. Um, mm, what if I, like, could I, like, force vassal you? No. See, this is where I want to start pre pressing weak claims, probably. Nope. Uh. No. I want to press a claim that's not insane and dangerous. I could press a claim... On that whole country. And I can outgun them. That is tempting. Oh no, I can claim individual places in it. With Corteris. This guy has a claim on two different places in it. I want someone who's a claim to their, their whole throne. It's a petty kingdom. Which means it's a rank lower than mine. Does anybody have a claim... Oh, wait, that's right. That's for me to make a claim. Claimants. I want a claimant on their whole damn county or country, I guess. Like the Petty Kingdom of Wessex. You would join. You would join. You would join a few. There are quite a few claimants. If I make them my vassal, 
we could put them on the throne there as our vassal and take a whole chunk of four counties or more. Invite him. This is the thinking man's way of declaring war. All right. Um, raise the boats. Embark the army. Land. We've got him. Yep. Yeah, we could just claim all of Wessex. Oh, we already have another guy that can do that. Okay, whatever. We have multiple people we can just claim all of Wessex. I believe we need to make them a vassal first. That is very appealing war to do. They only have non-aggression. They have no alliances. This is awesome. Okay, before we do anything. Just making sure. Yeah, okay, good. Just making sure we have alliances and stuff. Um, okay. Yeah, we have that, which is what matters. Okay. Uh, this is very tempting. Okay, we're going to give... Yeah, we're going to give Desmond to one of these guys. Now, which one of these two do I want to give it to? He's a military commander who's quite talented. He's a siege leader. Isn't he a commander for us? No, he's the guy we hired who could be a commander. And the other guy, the one we just brought in, is all about intrigue, so I don't know if I should trust him. Although he'd be very happy with me. Let's do the military guy. Okay. Uh, military guy, you. I'm granting you a landed title of Desmond. Boom. He loves me now. Yeah, because we just gave him a county. Now that he's our vassal, we can declare the war on his behalf. Now, we're going to wait till the boats arrive. Yep. I believe I'm allowed to have boats raised while I'm moving troops over. And we're going to plant you right here to make sure that they don't just walk over the strait and attack immediately. Because they'll have to attack over the strait and they'll have a big penalty for that. We'll at least see them coming and they're all tr um, cavalry so they can run if they need to. Uh, I can declare a war while boats are up, right? Yes, I can. Raise. Okay, all fleets are raised. Good. Okay. Let's do this. On behalf of this vassal. War is declared, calling in allies, just in case. And we raise the troops. Embark, <coughs> embark you guys. Yep. And we can't drop off outside of our land. So you just drop off there, yeah. Drop off there and then come back. That'll be fine. It does kind of suck going across the water like this, but it'll work. Okay, there we go. Good, we got our backup. Then you want to uh, have the guys on it actually disembark. Why are you not? Uh, there we go. There we go. And you guys back to port. You guys meet up with the rest of the army. How much did these guys have again? Quite a bit, actually. They hire, They just hired a bunch of mercs. They're not going to have the money to run the mercs for long. Ooh, that's going to hurt them. All right. Yeah, embark as many as you can. I think we can actually just drop them straight off. Might be able to. Yeah, it did the thing where it didn't play the sound effect again. That's fine. Yeah, drop them like that. There we go. Back home. We have a pretty sizable army there. Son was born to my chancellor. Okay. Okay. Uh, bark. That's only 200 dudes. Uh, 
Split. Can any of you embark? Yes. Wow, we can actually get the whole army across. We can finally cut into small enough chunks to do it. Okay, we're at the point that we can just cross the river. And be quite safe in doing so. Oh, uh, that's a lot of raiders. Uh... That's fine. That's fine. We'll be fine. Wait, are the raiders down here too? Yes. Fuck. Deal with that. We already had troops out. Slowing me down. Okay. Whatever. Um, we still have the massively outgunned. March in. They're hemorrhaging money. Did they put down the troops already? They put down some of them. That or they're fighting someone else too. And how's our money doing? We're actually losing quite a bit of money, but uh, we have a crazy big army. In fact, you know what? Leave these guys home. We won't need them. Leave them home in case we get Holy Ward or something. And to save on money. Hey, that every one time I want to check my money, it brings me back to my capital. It's a little annoying. Oh, we lose Lustful. That's fine. And is it updated yet? Yes, we're making a lot of money now. We're good. And we'll speed it up, actually, because I don't think they're fighting back. So their capital here is, uh, Winchester. Yes! Cavalry leader! We've needed that. I actually forgot to set up what commanders I have, but I think we're fine, honestly. Um, make sure we have a siege leader on the team, though, right? Yeah, we gotta make sure we have a siege leader. Edworth III is leading, and I like that. I just really don't want our heir to randomly die. Light foot troop. Do we not have a single siege leader in there? Okay, we do have a siege leader right there. Good. You know what? Multiple siege leaders. Do we have multiple? We have that other guy that we didn't make a commander yet. Uh, but he's the claimant in the war, and I really don't want to risk him dying. That'd be really bad. I, it would inconclusively end the war. Okay, we siege the beginning. Where are their troops, even? Oh, they're they're busy in other wars, too. Okay. Yeah, I don't know where the hell their troops even are. You are my granddaughter. Uh, Work in faith. Wow, this is easy. Keep the trade route running. Yep. Because that the money we gain from that in the long term is way better than the money we lose. Yeah, victory. Nice. Racking up that war score. Some random guy dude died due to poor physique. Uh, sucks to be him. Okay, we fully siege that down. Let's just go down the provinces then. Looks like this war might almost end eventually. Uh, open council position. Chancellor. Our chancellor has died. Who can we get? 18. Can we get someone better now? 21. I will take you. Uh. He is just not on the list, and I don't know why, so we're using this guy, who I think I fired in the past. Uh, okay, what is this? Who is being my courtier? Burn the apostate. Don't care. I have no simpy for you. Hmm. We could just raise on you immediately and have you so drastically outnumbered that it doesn't matter. That our morale wouldn't be good. Yeah. There we go. I could also fort up some of this place. I wouldn't mind a fort right here, actually. Yeah, get a fort there just because it's going to be the capital of this new vassal's land. Uh, how fast do we siege this place? We siege this place pretty fast. It helps that we have a siege leader, because they really do speed it up. A keep built, nice. And another workshop investment. Those have been so good for us. How old are we now? 50. We're doing so good now. We're really starting to, uh, make good use of this land. Okay, can't go dropping money right now, but I'm happy that keep is upgraded. 
because it really helps with the garrison and the troops. Who died? Cortair. You've arrived at my court and you're currently in jail. How did you arrive at my court in jail? How did that happen? It must be your wife joined my court? Yeah, your wife joined my court. Okay, that's it. I don't know why she did, but she did. Okay, we are annihilating this war. Um... What else do you consider valuable? Probably Kent, because it's a holy site. Because of the uh, Cliffs of Dover. Nice. Some more uh, mounted troops and skill in them. 66 troops. Yeah, that's pathetic. Yeah, our score is going up quite slowly because we haven't won a single major battle because they have no troops over here to fight. Okay, uh, another son was born. We have another grandson. That's awesome. And uh, East Francia won their holy war. Nice! Finally! Put a dent in the armor. Yes! So we have a fake claim on them. That's awesome. Get fabricating on that. Because then I can make a duchy to go after the last one. And hopefully our, our liege, or our liege, hopefully our king doesn't die anytime soon. Because when you die, all of your um, fabricated claims go away because they're so weak that they, they go away with your death. They don't inherit. At least I, I don't remember ever seeing one inherit. Oh yeah, just immediately stomp that. I hope that uh, uprising there, it's just a peasant uprising, so they'll probably stay within their own country. I just hope they don't raid my places. Are you upgrading this castle at all? Not yet. Okay. Do you have the money to? No, you don't. Okay, that's fine. And you have good money. Have you been upgrading the place? I guess he can't upgrade it with money. He's just upgrading the prestige stuff because this stuff all costs... Uh, it all, all requires technology as well. Except for this, the market village, which he really should be upgrading because that becomes a castle town. That's pretty important. Uh, but, you know, the tech is handicapping him a little bit in terms of actually modernizing the castle. Successful siege. Nice. We lost our spy master. 18. 21. Come on. First one's not a woman. You, 18. Fuck. <laughs> and you are not paranoid, so I'll take you. And he likes me a lot. Who is this guy? Why does he like me so much? Did I make you a baron? I probably made this guy a baron. He looks a lot about my country, actually. That's cool. Hmm. Looks like that got messed up a little bit. Yeah, they split into smaller counties again. That's fine. Uh, who are you? My grandson. My eldest grandson. Uh, you will get an education in... Money. Stewardship is nice. Wow, no one's fighting us in this war. We probably don't need this many troops. I might even send some back to Dublin to go just, you know, stop costing me money. Okay, hit up Middlesex because that's the best county in all of the British Isles. It's got the most holdings. More than even my capital, I believe. Uh, because my capital is one less, right? Yeah. Middlesex is a really good county. It's also very defensible because it has rivers protecting it from four of its adjacent counties. Which is every single one but one. What's the only direction you can attack this from? You can attack them from Bedford. Oh, you can also attack them from, from Essex. Okay. Uh, so you can only attack them from the north, which makes it very hard to siege. In general, it's a great county. One of the best. Another. Yes! We're racking up the uh, fabricated claims. This is awesome. A little low on money due to it, but you know. So we got one there. We got one there. Let's get Leinster. This is awesome. We're going to start just gobbling up Ireland. We're going to mass expand. I mean, we're taking all of this, and then we're taking some counties over there. We're really expanding north. 
Which is funny because it uh, a bunch of people were commenting or not commenting. Uh, people were telling me on streams and on Twitter and stuff that uh, I should I because the Umiat have gone so in control, I should expand north into Ireland and England. And they didn't know that uh, I had already recorded two episodes in which I was mass expanding into Ireland and England. I try not to record too far ahead of time on this game so that you guys can really follow along. Oh, we lost our marshal. That's a shame. We had a really good marshal for a long time. But our commanders are so damn good now. Oh, you're paranoid. Yeah, I'd rather... Oh, yeah, your son. Yeah, this will prestige stack him even more. Yeah. Fuck yeah. You're, you're a marshal. Get him even more prestige. And hey, I could use that money, considering how much I've been spending on fabricating claims on provinces I have no right to own. I can encourage that you become a Saxon, or Saxon? Uh, no, we're Visigoths. Make sure she learns about her own customs. I don't mind if they're Saxon too much, but uh, I'd rather they be a Visigoth. More taxes for me! Yes, this is one of those things of the, uh, the workshops I built have paid off. Pope has died. That's fine. Our, our war score is so good. It looks like our allies are finally showing up as if we need them. But, you know, I, I appreciate it. I think we can start marching home at this point. You have offered peace. We surrender under these terms. Uh, I lose 100 prestige. Why would I lose 100 prestige? Fuck off. I'll do my own demanding, thank you. Would my normal demand lose me prestige? Oh, it would. He was offering the same thing I was already doing. Okay. I refuse. I will now offer you the same thing you just asked for. Oh, what is this? Um, a monument to my son. It's expensive. He would barely be bothered if I say no, so I'll just say no. We did it. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that. I was hoping to get the fourth one too, or like this one, I think it was, but we got three counties. That's really nice. Uh, you're threatening. Yeah, we actually have a little bit of threat for mass taking land, but that'll decay very quickly. We can pick a new ambition. See the realm prosper. That's not happening. <laughs> we are not seeing the realm prosper, sorry. And put down my troops, except for my retinue. My retinue will go back to Desmond because I need them in Ireland because on the next episode, we're going to be declaring on them so does this mean that we actually have more people on the vote now? We might actually want to change the uh, laws on that. Because I believe this guy will be... Yeah. My vassal. He loves me for that. Plus 100 for pr pressing his claim and granting him counties another 40. He is very happy with me. Which is understandable. I mean, he was just a count. Or, uh, sorry, a, a courtier. I brought him to my country and I'm like, you have a claim to that land. Let's take all of that. And now you are way better off than you were before. And all you have to do is pay me some tax. He got a pretty sweet deal. Speaking of tax, I think I might want to change this a little bit. I actually wouldn't mind lowering the tax out of this because I'm making so much money already. I want the nobles to give me more levies. Lowers their chance of rebellion on me because they have less of a levy. Yeah, I'm going to push them towards levies. So they get a 5% break on their tax, but they have to give me 10% more of their army. Which they usually are unhappy about. They prefer paying more money than more troops. A people are joining a defensive pact against me. That's fine. We'll declare on this guy next to claim that. Who are you being defended by? Some weakling county in, in Wales. And you wouldn't stand a chance against me. Yeah, my retinue alone would really mess you up. Alright, everybody. On the next episode, we start pressing those claims. And it's going to be... Oh, yeah, become Catholic. We're going to press those claims on uh, Ormond and on... What is this? Kildare. Next episode, pressing claims, uh, our false claims on Ormond and Kildare. Until next time, have a nice day.